we can also use the mathematical greater than, less than, or greater than, or equal than, and so forth, right? So let's start with greater than here. So if you say shift and like that, the dot key, then you're gonna get the greater than. This is, like we say here, just be consistent, is gonna be greater than. All right, let's go ahead and look at greater than. Well, let's see, greater than here, we're gonna say if A is greater than B, then go ahead and print the indeed. Let's save then and run. Indeed is true because A is 13. It is indeed greater than 11. Now I can say the inverse of that, right? Less than, save. Obviously, it's going to say not true because A is not less than B. Okay, very simple, very simple indeed. So because we have greater than and less than, we also have greater than or equal so it's going to be greater than or equal as such let's put that there very good so this is going to be greater than or equal like that and while i'm here let's put the less than or equal less than or equal like this okay so the same thing now you will see the difference so i'm going to say greater than or equal then the system indeed, let's run, indeed it worked. Now the reason this runs, as you see here, is because A, it is indeed greater than or equal to B, right? So the first statement that we say when we say greater than, it says, yes, it is greater than, and it stops there and just spits out the indeed, okay? That's why it is true. Of course, if I say the less than or equal, let's see if that's gonna be true, not true because A is not less or greater than B, right? In fact, A is greater. So there we go, all right? So it works exactly as we would expect. So in this case here, we can play a little game. I can say age or first age like that and second age like that, okay? And then let's see, this is, let's say 21 and this is 17 and the rest is fine. So we're gonna change this to first age like this so I can go ahead and say if first age is greater than or equal to 21 then I want to say can consume beer like that not allowed to consume beer okay very good. So in this case here, now I'm using just a little game here. First age is greater than or equal 21, then this will go. Else, this will actually show. Save this, give a quick run. We should see can consume beer. Why? Because first age, it is greater or greater than or equal to 21, right? Now, if I change this to second age, for obvious reasons, you will see that indeed not allowed to consume beer. Ah, now you can see you can create this different kind of logic control flow that depending on the situation, depending on what is the expression is going to return. Like for instance, here we can do more logic if we want to do. So you can see here, this is very simplistic, but at least you can see uh, the power of using all of these relational operators. Okay. Very good, so what I want you to do before you go to the next video is create little games like this, right? Obviously, they're gonna be text-based game, but nonetheless, I think you can have some good fun here. So find some sort of logic where you can check, for instance, the age of the person for whether they can drink. In the United States, at least, you can only drink if you're 21 and over. Uh, you can check, for instance, if somebody is the right age to retire and all sort of things. So you can play around with all this thing then and see what happens, okay? So do that and uh, share with us all of your uh, little applications, uh, little programs that you make and uh, we'll go from there and again if you have questions of course you know what to do just go ahead in the forums and ask all right i'll see you next